and I got news for you. I hear this best bet team's coming after you guys a little bit, mm. you know? They're, I, I saw them over there on the Google, just, you know, quizzing each other on Florida all the time, leaders, and, oh, you know. they're practicing? They're, they're, they're practicing? Yeah, all they're practicing. studying. But anyway, I think if you guys just uh, – Play our game. Play your game. Yeah, you right. should be okay. There's okay. a little bit of pressure. One question no. at a time. I mean, you're, you're pretty much performing for the entire industry. Yeah, right? there's, okay. there's no pressure. We're going to make yeah. this 3-0. Yeah. You right. let us all down. Right. But if not, you just cruise along 3-0. Straight, Straight up front. If we lose, it's Casper's fault. Yeah, probably. Well. Get ready to flex your sports muscles with the most exciting new game show on the planet, Beat the Brains, where regular ordinary sports junkies like you get to test their sports knowledge against the masters of the sports universe, the Brains. So buckle in, folks, from the Best Bet Studios, it's time to Beat the Brains. Here's your host, Jeff Wasser. Welcome to both our teams. You'll meet them uh, momentarily. Welcome to the fastest growing local game show on the First Coast. We're also the only local game show on the First Coast, but it's good to dream. And we have two worthy teams here to battle it out first. And it is our, you know, Academy of Sports Knowledge, the Brains, still undefeated. So far in this, uh, we'll start with my man T Wig from 1010XL. How you doing? I'm Good. doing great. You ready to go? You ready yes, to sir. bring it? You ever yes, nervous sir. at all? No, you ever been in that trivia? Never nervous. No, you ever played Trivia cool. Pursuit? Anything? No, but. You're good? No, but we're going to uh, win. You're going to rue the day you mess with my girl Lauren. Lauren right. Rue has uh, just joined us at 1010XL. You, you ready to go? Absolutely. All right, good. JP Shadrick. Hello, JP. Yeah, you had a, a good debut last week. Oh, it I was thought. dominant. Memorable. It was a dominant Memorable. effort. Memorable. Yes. Galloping Ghost was Casper. Good thing. Not Red Grange, but it was fun. Yeah. Good thing it's a team effort. You know JP from uh, the Jaguars Radio Network and others, and then there's uh, the Ozone, Johnny Osher. You look, you look good. kind of studious over there. Good you know? was what you wanted to say, yeah. Jeff. Good. good, real good. Yeah, he's real good. He is. You guys um, are going to have to bring it as we introduce our challenger. We are first, ready. First, Arlie Johnson. Arlie, um, you like, like trivia? I know that. I'm a fan. I got to be honest. I saw these guys kind of studying over there. You know, I think the word's out that the brains are tough. Yeah. Jess, how you doing? Good to doing see you great. tonight. Doing great. Yeah, this is your TV debut. Absolutely. Well, don't be nervous because it, it, yeah, it'll go smoothly. All. Kevin Horsley is with us tonight as well. Kevin, you ready to go? Absolutely. Now, do you have an Absolutely. area of expertise or are you just a well rounded? Don't well -rounded. give it away. All right. I like it. And Gus, what are you here for? The good looks? You're the good looking guy no, of the group? No, is that what we're doing? Not far now. No? no, no. <laughs> You're here to bring it though? All right. You guys ready? I'm here to bring it. All right. Well, here's how the game works it's going to be pretty simple. We'll start with face offs in the first couple of rounds. The team that wins the faceoff will grab control of the board. They'll pile up points. You're going to need those points at the end of the game when you can risk up to half of your points and try and go home a winner. So far, our brains are undefeated. So we'll see. So far. So far. We'll see how that works out. Three rounds of competition and then the final betting. And we start, as always, with a faceoff. Arlie, if you'll grab a buzzer. Wig, if you'll grab a buzzer. And um, all right. We know how the uh, we know how to how these buzzers work. Yeah, we know. Right? We're aware. All right, here we go. This is your face-off question. For control of the board, this imposing pitcher for the St. Louis Cardinals holds the all-time, probably untouchable record for season ERA of 1.12. Arlie, Bob Gibson. Bob Gibson is correct. The challengers take over the board. Now, Arlie, you've done a lot of play-by-play, -play, right? I so have. You're comfortable in, behind Still the mic. And, and the what would Iceland. you consider your sports of expertise? Uh, hockey, hockey guy, but a little baseball and football, too. All right. Well, and this is the team from Best Bet, too, so, yes. right? Uh, well, so we'll see if you guys are a good bet tonight. Let's take a look at the board, see what the categories are. And of these, you can choose. You have Blackjack, Off to the Races, Behind the Suits, Billy Ball, Spittin' Facts from Jax, and Hoopa Palooza. Where are we going on the board, boys? Billy Ball is yeah. baseball. You feel okay? You all right with that? Nah. Yeah, let's do it. All right, we're going to do Billy Ball, Jeff. Okay, Billy Ball. This is Gator Hoops trivia cool. from the national championship teams of Billy Donovan and Brains. Stand by, follow the question, you'll have a chance to steal if they miss. All right, where did Billy Donovan play college basketball? I got that one. Providence. Providence, Providence. College. Providence, he says very confidently. Rhode Island native. And the challengers are on the board. 50 oh. points. First time in a while that's happened. The Brains trail for the first time. Excluding the five players in the starting lineup, who was the leading scorer coming off the bench during the back-to-back -back championship seasons in 06 and 07? This player um, was a big-time recruit. Was an NBA draft pick. And that's all the hints I'm giving you. 
guys feel like you know this? Yeah. 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 Pretty good. Yeah. Like yeah. 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 Witness sign leads over there real quick, confident. No prep, man. That's just basketball. It's a sport, right? I might screw this up. All right, you got five seconds, guys. Leading score off the bench for the Gators in 06 and 07. We're going to go Lee Humphrey. Lee Humphrey was a starter. That's not a bad guess, but that's incorrect. So, Brains with a chance to steal. Go with my answer? Oh, yeah, I don't, yeah. How about Chris Richard? Chris Richard is right. Yeah. Boom! That's why they are the Braves, Wait, ladies and gentlemen. They steal the, they steal the 100 point question. You now control the board. And your next question is this During their back to back basketball championship seasons in 06 and 07, Florida only lost two home games at the O'Connell Center. Name either of the two teams to win in the O Dome in those 06 and 07 seasons. Really tap into those memory banks there for this one. too easy. I hear them toss it around Kentucky as a possibility. Think so. Okay. Okay. Ten seconds. All right. We'll go with Florida State. Florida State is incorrect. We have a chance to steal. The Gator basketball team that won back-to-back -back national championships in 06-07 only lost two home games. Name either of the two teams that beat them. We'll go Kentucky. Kentucky is the obvious choice, but incorrect. <laughs> Control of the board remains with the brains. Answer is Tennessee. Oh, I love that look reaction. Look that. I love that. I knew it reaction. Oh, you tried to tell them, didn't you, Kevin? And the other was South Carolina uh, from that season. All right, uh, brains still control the board. They're up 150. My friends at Bubba Burger Ooh, have, oh, yeah. have, loaded, oh, yeah. have loaded me up. So whichever team gets this question correct, you're going to each take home a box of bubble burgers. You'll never bite a burger better than a bubble. All right, here we go. Uh, the Brains have control. In 2006, the NCAA Men's Division I Basketball Tournament, what two teams did Florida beat in the first round here in Jacksonville? Take you back to Jacksonville to that tournament. I can remember sitting courtside as the uh, Gators started to run towards a national title. There was another SEC team that advanced out of uh, our arena that, that weekend, as I recall. This is worth 200 points, and this could be a big one going into our first break. Five seconds. Need to know the two teams that the Gators beat in the regionals here in Jackson. Name one. Well, if you want to name one and give it to him, that's your choice. South Alabama. South Alabama, and that's the only one you can get? Yep. Okay, awesome. that's not enough. That's incorrect. Okay, okay two teams that the uh, Florida... Florida team beat in 06. What were their answers again? Um, they said they said one answer, South Alabama, and I said incorrect. Correct. Because they gave one team. That's what right. I did. Yeah. Um, I feel like I'm being worked here a little bit. <laughs> yeah. All right, five seconds. Need an answer. Three, two. Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Yes. Colgate. Incorrect. Uh, yeah. South Alabama's the South other Alabama one. Was the other. Oh. Yeah. Oh. South Alabama and Milwaukee. Minus. All right, quickly to break. We'll come back. We got uh, round number two is coming up. You're watching Beat the Brains. We'll have a scoring update. And the Brains probably could be getting a test here from the team from Best Bet. Back with more next. From the Best Bet studios, Beat the Brains is brought to you by Best Bet, featuring poker, simulcast, and racing in Jacksonville and Orange Park. And by the Murray Automotive Superstores in Stark and Kingsland, Georgia. Jumpin' Jack's House of Food, your favorite neighborhood eating spot, and the Carefree Boat Club. Boating without owning. It's about time. From the Best Bet Studios, this segment of Beat the Brains is brought to you by Jumpin' Jack's House of Food, your favorite neighborhood eating spot. All right, welcome back. It's round two of Beat the Brains, and the team from Best Bet has brought it here today. We got a tight one, 100 for the Brains, 50 for the Challengers. It's time for a face-off. Let's see who grabs control of the board. All right, this is a Bobby Bowden question. What graduate from Jacksonville's Robert E. Lee High School and Florida State played for the Green Bay Packers as a running back? Edgar Bennett. Johnny, Edgar Bennett is correct. Yeah, Johnny and the Brains yeah, control Johnny the board. Gus, you knew that, didn't you? Let's go. Oh. Good job. No. <laughs> All right, that's right. All right, you get to choose from the board. Let's turn around, take a look at the uh, categories. You have blackjack, off to the races, behind the suits, spitting facts from Jacks, and hoopa palooza. I'm gonna spit some facts. We're gonna spit, some, spit facts. some knowledge at you. So, all right, here we go. This is a chance to add to your lead. 100 right now for the brains, 50 for the challengers. Question number one, and pay attention, you have the opportunity to steal. 
Jacksonville University's football team, the Dolphins, compete in the NCAA Division I Men's Championship Subdivision, FCS, and are members of what league? 50 points. They're in the Pioneer League. Yes, they are. Yes, yes sir. Yes, they are. Yes, sir. 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 A lot of people don't know they even travel in covered wagons. It's very, yeah. You got to give it a good there, dude. Here we go. Spitting facts from Jax. Your next question. This one for 100. From 1985 to 90, what was the nickname of Jacksonville's minor league baseball team? From 85 to 90. What's the nickname? The Expos. Oh. The Expos. The Expos. JP tells me it was the Expos. That's Jack. the uh, correct. The Jacks. Expos. Oh, that's correct. Expos or Jacksbos. So uh, they add another 100 uh, points. Randy, JP's hitting it out of the park right now. Uh, JP yeah. uh, that's that's correct. killing it. All right, here we go. He's galloping, some would say. All right. It's a little homage to the last week. Here we go. All right, in 2005, to satisfy a friendly bet in a skins tournament, what golfer wore a pink shirt that Annika Sorenstam pulled out of her golf bag when she outdrove him? Spitting facts from Jax, what local golfer had a pink shirt bestowed on him by Annika Sorenstam after she outdrove him in a skins game? Somebody who's kind of 150 point question, it's 250 point. to 50. Yeah. Stand by for um, your chance to steal. It's it's a skins game, though. Yeah, five so seconds. It wasn't like that. Guessing. And we need an okay. answer. We're going to say David Duvall knowing it's David probably wrong. David Duvall is wrong, so you were right. You have a chance to steal. We're going to go with Jim Furyk. Jim Furyk is incorrect. This guy hits it dead straight, but one of the shorter hitters on tour, a player's champion Fred who lives Funk. in Jacksonville, Fred Funk. Uh, oh, oh I, 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 uh, I thought he was from uh, Virginia. All right. I was going to say Fred Funk. <laughs> Brains control. In the and, world. and this is it, the last 200-point uh, question, so uh, you know, be prepared to steal. In 2011, what team did the Jacksonville Sharks defeat 73-70 in Arena Bowl 24 for their first AFL championship in franchise history? Who did the Sharks beat in the AFL championship game for their first title? So we're just going to take a look. We're just going to take a look. Let's go with it. Let's ride. All right, here we go. They have an answer. We're going to ride with Philadelphia Soul. It's not the Philadelphia Soul. A chance to steal. I feel like it's the Arizona Rattlers. It is the Arizona Rattlers, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. There we go. Good job, guys. Oh, and we have a tie game at 250 to 250. Going to next segment will be dead tied. And you know what? It's that time. Time for a Bono's timeout. Everyone's a winner. Bring in Jacksonville's favorite barbecue. Now, the Bono's barbecue typically goes to the game's leader while you're tied, so you can all enjoy. Oh, we'll yeah. head to break. Yeah. We're back with more oh, Beat the yeah. Breeze. Yeah. We're going to beat that barbecue oh, yeah. in between. Yeah. Jumpin' Jack's House of Food is Jacksonville's best fast casual restaurant. We have awesome food, use quality ingredients, all in an easygoing environment. There's food for every taste bud, so come hungry for amazing pizzas, salads, wraps, burgers, chicken sandwiches, and incredible desserts. Come experience Jumpin' Jack's House of Food on San Jose and Mandarin, and our new location coming soon in the Atlantic Village, Atlantic Beach. Jumpin' Jack's House of Food, we aim to be your great neighbor. Coming to you from the Best Bet Studios, this segment of Beat the Brains is brought to you by the Murray Automotive Superstores in Stark and Kingsland, Georgia. All right, we're back on Beat the Brains, and we got a ball game all tied at 250. It's time for the Shazam Auto two-minute drill brought to you by our friends at the Murray Automotive Superstores in Stark and Kingsland. Here's how it works. Now we're going face-to-face -face for the face-off. Each will have one individual matchup. Point values have also been upped. So this is a chance to separate two teams that are tied. First question will be worth 100 points. Let's get Gus. Let's get Lauren. Come on, Gus. Let's go, Lauren. Show me the category, go, please. Lauren. I will choose the category, and I am going to go with Blackjack. All right, here we go. First question. These are trivia questions about the Jaguars teams under Jack Del Rio. Your first question. Jack Del Rio became the second NFL head coach since 1993 to wear what on the sidelines during a November 2006 game? Lauren. What is a t-shirt? It is not a t-shirt. 
chance to steal. What did Jack Del Rio wear that no one else had worn in, uh, since 93 in 2006? I'm going to say a scarf. It's not a scarf. Not the truck. The answer, you got it? A Anyone suit. got it? A, a suit. suit. He wore the suit. Lauren, it Sorry. Uh, hasn't been here for 20 years, so yeah. All right, let's move it on up. Let's move it on up. It's a Reebok suit. Too. All right, I tell you what I'm going to do, and I'm going to go ahead and throw in a little bonus for you. This will be the Jumpin' Jack's House of Food bonus question. Either one of you get this right, dinner for four for you and your team. Ooh. All right, Kevin, no House of Food. No and by the way, not to mention, not to mention the two. Uh, 100 points that will separate you. So, dinner for uh, Jumpin' Jacks, and uh, they promise you're going to love that. Ready? In 2004, the Jaguars' defense included what two Pro Bowl players? Go ahead. Go with, this is Kevin. Uh, Donovan Darius and Tony Brackens. Chance to steal. In 2004, the Jaguars' defense had what two Pro Bowl players? Darius. And let's say the this is dumb. This is so dumb. The punter, <laughs> Chris Hansen. Barker, Hansen. Hansen. Uh, the correct answer: <laughs> Marcus Stroud and John Henderson. That was Marcus easy. Stroud. And, I don't they were here Donovan that early. A, I don't think Donovan ever made a Pro Bowl. I think he wanted to. So they were here that early. Oh four. Yeah. There we go. Well, there you go. We'd like to think you learned something on the program. All right. Or right, we're still tied. Keep Chopping Wood, a mantra introduced by Jack Del Rio in 2003, resulted in a serious injury to what player? Go ahead, Jess. Brian Barker. Chance to steal. Seth Payne. You got the right position and the wrong player. Chris Hansen, who we just knew. <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I, right, hey, I knew the punter. You know? I knew the position. I forgot Thank which you, one right. it was. Appreciate right. it, buddy. You get extra. You get, all right. This is a 250 pointer. Ooh. Winner, winner take all. And whoever, by the way, we left the jumping jacks on the, you know, on the table. Whoever wins this uh, round will take the lead, and they're going to win some delicious best bet sushi. So. Oh, nice. All right, this is it. This Very is the good. finale. Who was the Jaguars' first round draft pick in the 2007 NFL draft? Reggie John. Nelson. Reggie Nelson is correct. Oh, Points go to the brains. You happen to draw. John Oster of Jaguars.com. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but was not covering the team at that time. He goes, so. hey, he gets the Oster. Listen, you got the question right, okay? Don't pour <laughs> it. <All right. laughs> it's 500 to 250. You still have the chance to catch up. Here comes the sushi. Everyone's Woo! happy. Yeah. For the best sushi in town, for the best Ooh. sushi room right here. It's brain food, so mm. eat up, boys and girls. We'll be back for the exciting conclusion to this week's right. Beat the Brain. Coming up this season on Dream Quest. We are here to help you to pursue your own quest. You're gonna compete in a series of events. I thought I was gonna die out there. Dream Quest, Saturday nights at nine on CW17. Jumpin' Jack's House of Food is Jacksonville's best fast casual restaurant. We have awesome food, use quality ingredients, all in an easygoing environment. There's food for every taste bud, so come hungry for amazing pizzas, salads, wraps, burgers, chicken sandwiches, and incredible desserts. Come experience Jumpin' Jack's House of Food on San Jose and Mandarin, and our new location coming soon in the Atlantic Village, Atlantic Beach. Jumpin' Jack's House of Food, we aim to be your great neighbor. Beat the Brains continues now from the Best Bet Studios. This segment of the show is brought to you by the Carefree Boat Club. Boating without owning. It's about time. All right, welcome back to our fourth and final round. We've reached the finish line of this week's Beat the Brains. Brought to you, by the way, by the Carefree Boat Club. And this is why this is important to you guys. If you get the finish line question right, you're going to get a half-day Carefree Charter for four. It comes with a boat and a captain. Yeah. So, like with that. a boat. Regardless with of boat. who wins the game. Yeah. I also right. want to remind folks, if anyone thinks they can beat the brains, we'll put you on the Beat the Brains Wall of Fame. And so far, there's no one up there. Here we go. 500 to 250. 
you can bet all of your points. We've changed that from the first couple shows. So you'll be allowed to bet uh, 250. Right. Theoretically, you could tie. And before we get to the final question, I do want to also give a shout out to um, Trivia Nation. They provided all our questions. I don't know if people out there have been to the Trivia Nation shows at bars and restaurants. So uh, we, we certainly Hi, appreciate that. Hi, you can go to TriviaNation.com. All right, here we go. You will have one minute to come up with the answer to the following question. As of August 27th, excluding any special teams players, name any four active offensive players in the AFC, along with their team, who went to the University of Florida. I need four former Gators currently active in the AFC. And I need the team that they play for. You have one minute. There are a lot of names on here. You might think in your head that it comes pretty quick, but I want to remind people to remember we're talking AFC only and we're talking offensive players only. So no defenders from the University of Florida on AFC roster. Okay. We're looking for four Offense. current active offensive players in the AFC who went to the University of Florida uh, by the way, there are 13 total. So you're looking for four of the 13 active offensive players in the AFC. We have 15 seconds for you to come up with your fourth answer. The Brains lead the challengers 500 to 250. And we are playing for that free boat ride, uh, which we will all love for the Carefree Boat Club. So time is just about up. I'm gonna ask you to put down your pins and we could stay here all day, but you know, we can't. Need an answer. I got nothing else to say. That's it? No? Nope. All right. I uh, yeah. currently no. must have misled you guys in the break. Uh, yeah. yeah. I was okay. Really, I was really hoping for a Tim Tebow question there, Jeff. Oh, I didn't know. We'd <laughs> That's what you're hoping for? <laughs> yeah. I don't think they need that. Okay. Down, all right. Um, it, no, what do we got? Didn't come up with much, huh? You got one. No. You got one. Oh. You got a penalty. What do we got? Yeah, it does, how fine. many points did you risk, by the way? 250. 250. That'd be a goose egg. Um, and what do we got? We go 249. 249. I like it. The pounces. You got both pounces. Brown yeah. and oh, Brissette. Well, you were, but the problem is that we Wait needed the teams that they played for. I was. Uh, oh. Yeah. Well, no, we can't. Did the question say that? Yes, yeah, the question said that more than once. Yes. And including teams. Yeah, oh, including okay. the team. But it doesn't matter. They missed. You okay, win. You got by, by the way, yeah. Trent Brown is right. The others. In addition to what we see there, Antonio Callaway, the Browns, Max Garcia of the Broncos, Marcus Gilbert of the Steelers, Mike Gillisley of the Pats, DeAndre Goolsby of the Jags, Jonathan Harrison, uh, Jake McGee, Marquise Pouncey, Mike P Pouncey, Demarcus Sharp. Robinson, David Sharp, and Mark. So we Thompson. got him right. We Not of the Jags. Yeah, you got him. Right. We got him yeah. right. We didn't push him. There's the team. Right there. yeah. You got him yes. right. All right, 251 to nothing. Brains win another one. The Wall of Fame stays empty. Once again, a shout out to TriviaNation.com. We appreciate all the questions and all the help. Here's right, us hoping you join us again next week for another exciting edition of Beat the Brains. Beat the Brains has been brought to you by Best Bet, featuring poker simulcast and racing in Jacksonville and Orange Park and by the Murray Automotive Superstores in Stark and Kingsland, Georgia. Jumpin' Jack's House of Food, your favorite neighborhood eating spot, and the Carefree Boat Club, boating without owning. It's about time. Think you have a team with the chops to beat the brains? Well, here's how you can take your shot. Send us an email to brains at theticketjacks.com and we'll get you scheduled for one of our upcoming auditions to the show. You can audition either as a team or an individual and have us place you on a team. But you'd better be good if you want to beat the brains.